few of you guys going downhill. Uh, didn't look too confident of standing up. So this is a nice downhill. We've got some different options. Got a few tree roots to contend with, but in general, if you think your arms are stretched out, you can hold the bike stronger. If you like this, you're taking a lot of pressure with your arms, and if your arms are straight, you're well over the back. So think about your ass being right over the muck guard, then you're nice and strong. So it's about feeling on the brakes as well. So you don't want to be locking the front, obviously. And sometimes the rear, if you lock too much, you're going to gain momentum. So quite often it's that point just before the wheels are locking. The front's going to give you more, more stopping power than the rear, obviously. But it depends on the grip. There's obviously good grip. You can really hold it on the front. Quite often you're just feeling that point with the front wheel. It starts to lock up, just easing off, working all the time with the pressure of the brake. So you've got a bit of a step here as well. What I live to. So we could have a line coming down it off is, the step. It is so probably quite easy if you can roll out. It's always important to have a look if you're rolling out, but quite often you've got to stop quickly and really hold it on the brake. So as you're coming off the step, if you just crouch down a little bit and then as your front wheel comes off, extend all the way back. You can roll off and build the confidence and then start to stop slower and slower. Yeah. Up, up, up. So you need a lot more front brake. Hold it on the front brake and you'll be able to stop. It's good grip. Keep it straight, keep it locked out. You can roll a little bit there, but then on the front, you better stop it.
你去什么来研究？Quite a lot of grip. Again, it's feeling what the bike's doing. You never know how much grip there is. But uh, you know, you got a line coming in a bit of an angle. So got to turn it straight. But you can see it, the rock's a little bit slippery. But there's grip on them. So but you need to lift a little bit for this. You back, you know, back. Back. But you're going to be carrying a little bit of speed to maybe lift a little bit earlier because there's no time to compress. You're not. Compressing with brakes. You, you, when you're on a hill, the front comes up easier. You've just got to flex a little bit. So normally you could lift about here. If you lift here, the back wheel's there. So it's a little bit awkward. It's more likely to spin up. So we use this little bump to help lift the front wheel. So you can just flex nice and early, lots of speed, and you, as it compresses in. Using that compression, and then you want to touch front wheel, and compress, compress a little bit, but it's not like the steps where you're really pressuring in. You just want to compress a little bit, and, let the, and as the back wheel hits, you've got to soak that up with your legs. If you're rigid with your legs, it's going to kick. Oh, yeah, and then you're going to slow up a little bit, but have confidence that it's going to grip. On this, sometimes it's better to go in a, a lower gear and be confident to go a bit slow because if you come in fast in second or third, you know you're going to struggle. You're up the step, but then you're going to have to really clutch it. So it's always a way up. You know, go a little bit slower here and have more control. But you can be confident of the grip here. If it was really slippery, you'd have to carry more speed. Back this hot top. So I think on this one I'm going to go first gear, second gear. No, thousand for the captain should come to me. Second is meter.
Eh, no, no. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 